Yo, 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 yo. Before we get into this video, I got a story. I, I was walking outside and I, I, I walked out and I just hear this guy go, man, you are fucking worthless. And I was like, shit, that's rude, bro. I just walked out of my house. But then I realized there's a guy above me. He was uh, yelling at some other guy. They're fixing some sort of electrical thing. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I was not ready for that. I thought I was being attacked on arrival. I was like, what did I do? What did I do? I just woke up this morning. Woke up this morning. Now, let's get into some Victoria 2. Damn, girl, you live like this? Yeah, well, we're in for a we're in for a wild campaign. So wild, in fact. The first thing that happened was uh, we got attacked. We, we were minding our own business, and Paraguay forward settled me. Like, I, like they were playing Civ 5, bro. This is, in fact, the same strategy the French did uh, that caused the Seven Years' War. No idea why they attacked me, bro. Like, we just kind of crossed the border and sat on them. And Argentina got peace. Uh, the war ended. And you know you know what they say. If they haven't died, then they're still living today. Happily ever after. For some time, though, we did actually live in peace. We, we might have been in poverty, but we were rich in character and in spirit. And, you know, sometimes that's all that matters. Like, uh... Come on, give me a hug, bro. We're living happy times, good vibes, bro. Our luck would come to an end, though, when a Hoi for Civil War came to our great nation. And we can only choose one option here. Come on, come on, play, play the clip. I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all! Yeah, that's right. That's right. In reality, it was a very fast war. They tried to beat us with the South American EU4 hug box. But yeah, we were too awesome, too epic, too cool to be defeated that way. The war ended in victory for Buenos Aires, and now we got a bigger-ish, uh, border. It's a- it's a work in progress, alright? Gotta give me time. We gotta make a big blue blob, so we gotta fight Uruguay to add them to the big blue blob that we're trying to create. So that's what I did, I attacked Uruguay. While we were on the topic of attacking our neighbors, I decided, you know what? Let's attack this mega country on top of us. Like, bro, look how big he is. I just need a crumb of pops, man. Come on. You gotta understand. This is why I do the things I do. Like, I'm down bad. But thankfully, Bolivia gave us their only port so we could swim in the Pacific Ocean. I, I got these small things going for me, all right? Now in our peacetime, our homies started to colonize the rest of our map, making us gain a lot of dopamine. And we did it for free. Sometimes the best things in life really do happen for free and that, that that's deep or something i don't know i'm like one of those pages on instagram i'm gonna be like a inspirational quotes life is like a box of chocolates jen a you never know how much dopamine you're gonna get to grow strong we had to paint our map and uh that's how i justified splitting chile in half this was uh the most difficult war for me not because it was uh, particularly hard or anything, but because this uh, this dude, this guy, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he he lives there, and uh, he's probably not gonna play Agent Pars three with me after I make this 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 little video here. He's gonna watch to uh, this point in the video, and bad things are gonna happen. Bad things. When I sent the peace deal, when I sent it, I I knew there was no coming back. I crossed the Rubicon of getting a good MMR in Age Empires 3. And then another war with Chile would come, sealing my fate even more so. I have these great borders, but for what? I'm like Tony Montana from Scarface with this big empire, but I'm alone at the top with no 2v2 partner. This shit is bananas. Yo, was someone really playing the drums in my house? Man, I can't do anything here, bro. Yeah, it's just going, alright. Now, we had an event that uh, caused a border dispute, but uh, it's kind of too late for that. I mean, j just look at the map, man. Yeah, eventually, we I just ate the whole country, like, void it, sure. Tension in Santiago, for sure. Very, very plentiful tension. So plentiful, in fact, uh, we got a crisis. Germany came to uh, defend us from uh, the Soviet Union and Chile. They were out to get us. But Chile didn't even exist, so... Who was flickering the lights? Hmm. We, we might have fully conquered Chile, but uh, they're the aggressors here. You gotta believe me. Now, the war ended before it started almost, and I was like, all right. Like, I, I thought it was a white piece that ended so fast, but uh, no, apparently we beat the Soviet Union. Argentina won, Soviet Union zero, baby. Now, we gotta form La Plata. It's one of those uh, easy wars. You just kind of walk across the border. You know, one of those kind of wars. Bada bing, bada boom. And once the map was formed, we grabbed a puppet to make it a little bigger. Now, this is a video about playing Argentina in a map game. And we all know what I gotta do. Yeah, yeah. The final thing we gotta do is get the Falklands. 
I mean, we had cores on it, so all I really had to do was click one button and boom, a world war started. Despicable me, I know. Now the South Africans and the Ottomans, they tried to bring me down, but you know, we, we kept our spirits high, all right. And a good thing too, because we eventually landed on the island and uh, we planted our flag. On the flip side though, the British landed on me and they planted their flag. I had to prepare a counterattack, but I had to be very careful about how I did this because like, if the British troops like just sneezed on me, all my guys would die. Our miltech was terrible. So we cautiously surrounded the British, but before we could attack, the, uh, the, the war was over because uh, the Germans beat England, I guess. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna complain, all right? I barely had to do anything and we won the war. We got the islands back, we renamed them. You know, I think, I think yeah, it, it was a, it was an okay campaign. All right, guys, sorry the video is kind of short this week. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, didn't do a whole lot as Argentina. You gotta forgive me, all right, guys? I'm not bad, at, I'm not terrible at the game, I guess I would say. I'm not the best, I'm, I'm a straight medium, all right? So... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Because of how short this video was, uh, I gotta get a new job real quick. Just for this week, alright? Just for this week. Yo, this new job, actually. Fuck that. I know how to drink, bro. I'm not, like, dyslexic yet. Alright, you gabagoons, you gotta stop fighting, bro. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna do this, bro. Alright, get that guy, get him. Yo, he's trying to take a piss, beat him up! Taking a piss is a free man's privilege, alright? Now you stay in there. Bro, you gotta chill out. The attitude, bro. You're like burning the room. You gotta calm down. Ah! That's what I'm talking about, bro. Sir, I gotta take you to the rust toilet room. Look, bro. It's not blood. It's rust, bro. It's fucking rust. Alright, I'm gonna lock you in here with the nasty-ass toilet. Good luck, bro. He's immediately taking a piss, yep. What can I say? That toilet's got powers. No way. Ray William Johnson? This is where you were? Yeah, there's no way that's rust right there. I'm about to act up. I'm gonna call you my little samurai. Sa samurai. Sa samurai. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've been feeling quite down ever since you stepped down. Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Abe. The most beautiful man. 